sometimes artists have these wacky ways of thinking, right? That's not a surprise. It's one of the things that makes us good at what we do. But it can also offer ways of breaking out of some of our own everyday stagnation when we just think of ourselves as neighbors or as part of a neighborhood. We can often feel stuck or like things are difficult or hopeless or stop noticing certain things that are around us. So this exhibition is celebrating 10 years of the program Social Practice Queens, which is a collaboration between Queens College, a part of the City University of New York, and the Queens Museum, where the exhibition is located. So the body of work in Art as Social Action, the exhibition, features alumni of our program. All of the artists who are in this show are people who we've worked with very intimately, people who we've taught. I say that the show is basically a walk that starts with the body and kind of returns to the body, but on the way passes through bodies of water and waterways, forms of public engagement through walking, union organizing, and then eventually returns to the body and kind of centering on how we process our grief. So my way of thinking through this exhibition curatorially is really to say, since we believe that audience participation, engagement, and reaction are such a huge part of what completes this work, we're asking you to kind of start with yourself and centering yourself to move kind of out through neighborhoods and landscapes and to larger collective efforts, and then to say what kind of remains still with me and how am I engaged with this work and with this world. A lot of the people who have made work in this show, it's about their own community, their own neighbors, their own neighborhoods, um, places where they have these very long-term kind of commitments, not just as artists, but through living, right? Because I think when you're doing work in an educational context, it can be difficult to demonstrate what that work is to the world and to allow the world not to see what it is inside of our classrooms, but to feel what the efforts of our classrooms have collectively produced. So for me, this is a tremendous invitation for you to understand why teaching this stuff matters and why working together in this way through classroom settings as well as through museum institutional settings does have an impact and really just serves as a groundwork and an invitation whether or not somebody attends our school program or works with us in that way. It's just a way to say you can engage with these things that we make and that the public university has public meaning and public application to a wide range of audiences. So I think that the artist thinking invites us to notice those things again, to consider creative approaches, even just to walking down the street. It's not always problem solving or direct community organizing, but it's a way of sort of cracking your brain open so that whatever work you're doing in your own community context might start to operate a little bit differently and free your mind a tiny bit from like the structures of everyday life.